Hi, I'm Steve, and welcome to Keithley Briefly. Today we'll be talking about benchtop power supplies, including some of the different types of benchtop power supplies and some of their functions and features. A benchtop power supply is typically used to provide DC voltage to your device under test, and it comes in a convenient form factor that makes it easy to use on your bench. There are a few different categories or differentiators that differentiate these power supplies from one another that we'll go over now. The main one being single channel versus multi-channel power supplies. Single channel power supplies typically have one output that you can control, whereas multiple channel power supplies will have three or even four outputs that you can control. There's also bipolar versus unipolar power supplies, where a bipolar power supply can function in both the positive voltage realm as well as the negative voltage realm. The unipolar power supplies can only source positive voltage, although this can be get around, gotten around if you flip the leads. There's also linear versus switching power supplies. The linear power supplies are typically larger, a lot heavier, and deliver less power with less efficiency, but they tend to be high accuracy and have very little noise. You'll notice two linear supplies here on my right. And then there are switching power supplies. These tend to be lighter, more compact, deliver lots of power, but they tend to have a lot of high frequency noise and are generally less accurate. And you'll see two examples here. Some of the more advanced power supplies can operate as a battery simulator. In this case, they'll have an option to add an internal resistance to the power supply which will operate as though there is a resistor in series with the positive output terminal, thus simulating the operation of a battery. Most benchtop supplies also have constant current and constant voltage mode. In constant voltage mode, the power supply will source a constant voltage and the current will vary as the load varies. In constant current mode, you can set a voltage high enough for your load that it will deliver the current that you want and the power supply will maintain a steady current at the level that you set. There is also a remote voltmeter on most supplies. Uh, this is typically on the sense terminals, which are different from the output terminals. This allows you to get a clean voltage reading at the device under test and allows the power supply to compensate the voltage to make sure that the voltage that you set is the voltage on the device. Finally, most benchtop supplies come with test sequences or at least some amount of programmability, which allows you to change the output voltage at set times so that you don't have to fiddle with your power supply while running your test. All right, so that was a basic overview of benchtop supplies and some of their functions and features, as well as some of the types that you can choose. If you do need help choosing the right benchtop supply for your application, feel free to contact us at Tektronix Technical Support. We'd be happy to help.